The only things that I could eat were human blood and Roman Catholic communion. The RH factor in my blood type changed between before vampire and after vampire. From what to what? Yeah, it, you, I can't remember. I think it used to be O positive and now it's O negative. And then even my skin was like this. It gets, it gets this kind of beautiful, translucent, glowing quality. It's like you can almost see the veins like stained glass. So your teeth grow about a half inch longer and very sharp. And, and plus your mouth, you start salivating this very thick saliva, which is full of cocaine. And wow. cocaine is a topical anesthetic. And so when you like go up to the person, in my case, I always usually always use women, you like lick them a few times, which is of course kind of erotic. And then you, you know, that numbs the flesh. And then you chomp away and drink the blood. And then that same saliva acts as a quick healer. There's something in it. And you might, and people might think, well, this is so bizarre. You know, how could this be true? Well, the funny thing is, is during this period, <laughs> it sounds funny, vampire going to the dentist, and he started working on me, and this was before dentists typically used rubber gloves because it was pre-AIDS and everything. And he started working on me, and he says, you've got the thickest, strangest saliva I've ever seen. And all of a sudden, he started dropping everything. And he says, my fingers are getting numb. <gasps> and he couldn't figure out why this was. And he says, it's like someone put Novocaine on my fingers. And so he had to back off and sit there for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then he put on, you know, the typical rubber gloves. And then he finished working on my teeth. And so I'd be driving the streets and I'd see the occasional prostitute or the occasional street person wandering down North Avenue in Milwaukee uh, all alone. And I mean, it was, I could, I, my hands were like, white knuckling on the steering wheel, you know, of this truck I was in. I was trying to fight, not just going over there and ripping their throats out. Because after a while, even having one tap, if you will, of blood a night wasn't enough. You were hungry a lot of the time? Oh, yes. I couldn't, if I tried to eat anything, I would throw it up. If I even tried to drink water, I would throw it up. 